Bonjour mon petit pois with icing on top. How are you all? Welcome to a new vlog. As you can see, got my bag on and ready to go. I was going to be wearing this today, even though it's October, it is so warm. I wanted those like autumn orange spooky Halloween -y vibes, but alas, felt like I had journeyed to the centre of the molten core of the sun so I have switched to this. Liam has a couple of days off this week so we're going to be spending them together. We're going to Costco, we're looking around a wedding venue, um, we are hopefully popping, I'd quite like to pop to like Primark and M&S, there's a little strip of them in Milton Keynes, I don't know if we'll get time but we're doing some nice things, we're homey, um, lovely things with the girls so I just thought I'll get my camera out and see what footage I take. I don't think this will be like a glitzy glam vlog. Um, I'm not in London these two days at all. Um, but sometimes it's nice just to capture the homie and I know that a lot of you like the homie as well. So come along, I shall put you in my handbag. You can get in there and you can trot alongside me like a little borrower in my pocket peeking out like, oh, hey, where are we going today? Um, and it will be lovely now. Get in my pocket. <laughs> Bit weird. Oh, we're having such a lovely little country drive. I just thought, quick, I better film this last bit before we come up to the, what is it, like the dual carriageway bit. Liam's obviously here, I'm not driving, say hello. 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 <laughs> we have just had the most lovely, like, chit chat about our wedding and our marriage and all of that sort of stuff. I know I've talked about it before, but it's just taken me such a lot of time to get my head in the wedding game. And I feel like, we're really in it now, aren't we? Yeah. We're really like thinking about how it will all play out and where we would want it and how we would want it, etc. So it's just nice talking about it and like we're visiting. We're excited about it. Now. Yeah, we are. And I think as well, what's really nice is because we're a bit older. Obviously, you can't tell that we're a bit older, but we're not. We're not exactly like spring chickens anymore, are we? No. <laughs> no. Um, we're excited for the marriage as well and not just having a great big wedding day but everything that comes with like being husband and wife and it's interesting the psychology of it's interesting i think liam's yawning <laughs> it's not that interesting after all i think it's very interesting look at this lovely view it's not actually that lovely it's just just sort of a tree line dual carriageway ah Alrighty, we are here at the Good Primark. I say the Good Primark, I always used to call this the Good Primark. If you're local, it's the Primark near the MK Stadium. Is it MK Doms? 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 Not Doms. Doms. Not Doms, that's Doms. Doms. Delayed onset muscle soreness. I was thinking like... Oh, right, that one. Dominatrix. Um, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> take her back to a weird place oh, yeah it's, it's gone to a weird place uh anyway i used to come to this primark all the time i used to drive here back when i was a bit more confident with driving and this was what i used to think of as the good primark and i want to pop in for two reasons one i want to see if they have any nice disney bits because we're going to disney soon and two i want to see specifically if they have nice christmas things for the girls i saw on tiktok someone showing they had really nice children's Christmas things and a couple of years ago, I don't know if it was last Christmas, last Christmas I gave you, or the year before, you might remember it, Pearl had this little, little knitwear set that was like a little pink jumper with a little pink skirt knitted. It was the Adorable. year before last, yeah. yeah. And it had all like little fair isle like stuff all over it. It was lovely and so I just want to pop in and I'll just quickly show you. There's M&S, so we might pop into M&S if there's time and way over there there's a cheeky one so i'm in like the beauty section i really like their beauty like tools not necessarily their products themselves like i don't buy a lot of well i don't think i buy any makeup bits from here but i like like the makeup accessories if that makes sense this is very this would appeal to darcy so much little face roller she's got one of those she loves them and then i also picked up this a selfie light mirror I'm not sure if i need to add batteries to it it's got a switch on the back let's see Maybe you need to add batteries to it, but that's quite good, isn't it, for £3.50? See what I mean? How cute are these little acrylic boxes there? Or pots. They've also got little ones where you can 
divide things. I've picked this up as well. I love these things. I have a full face one that I keep in the freezer, but I want just one for my eyes. So I'm gonna pop that in my basket there. Oh, hello. Some Disney bits and pieces. I'm so not into stitch. I know everyone's into stitch, but I really do like the colors and I like the glitz of this. Found some more Disney bits. We've got some ears here. How much are they? £3.50. And then I really like these earrings. I would wear pretty much all of those, I would say. They're all really nice, four pounds. And again, stitch, so much stitch. I feel like I'm gonna get so much hate for saying that we're not stitch people. I don't dislike stitch. I actually really like the idea of like one big sister looking after a little sister because that was my life looking after my little sister, but just not mad for like the little blue alien, you know? Oh, stop, hello. These are just fun in a headband, aren't they? If that's not the most joyful Disney Mickey as you've ever seen, they are six pounds. If you bought these in the parks, you're looking at like 20, 30 dollars. Great value. And also I like these as well. If you're Disney bounding for a little bit of aerial, love those. Hello up there. If you're into high tops, they've got some Disney high tops here. I never wear high tops anymore because I feel like they don't really flatter me very much, but if you like them, they've got some Mickey ones and then also some Winnie the Pooh ones. They've got sweatshirts here for £14. So much less expensive than what you would buy if you waited till you got to the parks. It's got all the characters on. That's a bit more like aesthetic Disney, I would call that. And then, what would we call this? Just Disney, Disney, classic Disney. Venturing up to children's work. I feel like we're gonna have a lot of success. In oh look, baby and Disney, my two favorite things. Okay, let's go over here. This is a nice Christmassy dress. This would be really nice for like school discos and little parties. It's got a bit of ruffle at the bottom with like tights and boots. That's really nice. I might get that for Darcy. 11 pounds in case you're wondering. I just wanna have, what's this? Is this a little Halloween-y dress? Oh, hello. Every single one is eight to nine years, but I feel like that would be so nice for Pearly on holiday because we go to Disney around Halloween. Look what we have found for Pearly. Look at this little Christmas jumper. I don't feel like you're getting the full sparkle effect. There. How cute is that? Here we go. This is exactly what I meant by like Christmas day dress. Also, can I just say, look what I've just found. That is a lot of fun. Do you think that will be too hot for Di I feel like that will be too hot for Disney. But she could wear it before to like the little school Halloween thing. Anyway, there's that. And then just how cute is this? I just love this so much. It's like really nice texture as well. You know, sometimes you get scratchy wool. That's not a scratchy wool. Yeah, I think that would be lovely for like Christmas day or like a little Christmas event. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I didn't see the homeware section. <gasps> Liam, look, look at this bedding. Oh, I don't actually love fleecy bedding, but if you do, pink candy canes, Merry Christmas. These are very white company, aren't they? Ooh la la, how much are they? How much are they, how much are they? Nine pounds. Wow. Snazzy. <gasps> Snazzy. Um, we're not gonna go to any of the shops because we are gonna get a very quick waggers. And actually it's essential because we can't go to Costco hungry. I'm obviously not suggesting a waggers because I want a waggers. I'm doing it really for both of our goods, Gorge, because yeah. um, if we go to Costco hungry, we might make poor choices. Bella Italia, what is that? A camembert dip for a pizza? Whew. We're going to wagger mamas, chicken little waggers, chicken little waggers. Just hope they'll be able to seat us from bowl to soul, getting my bowl and my soul. Liam's just popped to the loo, so it's just me and you. Um, it's so nice just to have some one-on-one -on -one time with Liam and just be like Louise and Liam. We're so often mum and dad, which we love. Um, but yeah, this is nice. It's important to make time for each other. I'm having a lovely day, it's still lovely. And sweet, sweet Diet Coke nectar. Oh, she's a bit fizzy today. Settle down. Oh yes. Cheers, Gorge. Do a little cheers. 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 Cheers to all of you. Oh, I'm so glad that this is happening to me right now. I know that curry sauce doesn't look very appealing on camera, but this is just a taste sensation. Da 
once then, wherever you may be, we are at Costco Wholesale, said she, and he'll lead us all with his trolley. We are off to Costco and that zoomed too much into me. <laughs> right, my prediction is we're going to see some Halloween stuff. I think probably the Halloween Mickey. Oh, I'm already seeing it and some Christmas stuff. I've lost Liam already, I've lost Liam already. Here he is down the tech aisle. Um, we're going to try and be good and only get what we need and not make frivolous purchases. Although, look, they've got the big cricket. I've got this one, this little joy, cricket joy. Um, but they've got the big boy here. I bloody love cricket. At first glance, I didn't realise that was Disney. But it is Disney. I mean, now I can clearly see it's Disney because we've got the characters. But I didn't notice straight away. Disney Halloween set. wonder how much that is. I can't see a price. No, nope, that's a strong no. These are cute if you're having a party or you're giving out good gifts for trick-or-treating. They're really sweet. I'll give you a little pan of the joy of Costco. Or oh, I've seen Christmas things. There's a Disney holiday village and over here, oh, 32, 38. I do like these. These would be really nice in the kitchen, um, like in the central, in the island. They're very nice. They're a little bit like, they seem more upmarket than what they are, if that makes sense. They seem worth more than £30 for five. Not keen on these. Again, controversial. I feel like all the stitch people will <laughs> be so cross at me. I just don't like gnomes very much. I don't remember them being part of Christmas. It feels like only the last few years they've like joined us. Not for me. Just a small decoration if you just want something subtle. It's a full-size lamp. And then just the whole, look at all of this. I'm here for it, I love it. Oh, here is the big boy, Disney. I'm assuming this spins round. Although I love Disney so much, these aren't really the decorations that I would like to have for Christmas, maybe for the children. Um, but I can appreciate that it's just so beautiful, so sparkly. I do like, like the theming of it all. And then I did also notice over here, just on his own, this little guy. I like this more because it's kind of more subtle colours, I suppose. Um, but he's fun. I don't think he's meant to be there. I think he's lost. And then we've got these guys. A whole sleigh over here. Here he is with his friends. Oh, he comes in a two. He's got a pal. Oh, that, I like that. I don't have any red decorations, but I like the size of that. It's pleasing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is what I think, like your grandparents have and you remember it from your childhood fondly and every year you look forward to that coming out. I don't want to give you a review. Oh, I like this. I like this. It's a bit kitsch, isn't it? Oh, that feels nice. ASMR. What? What? He's pointing at something. What is it that I... Oh. Oh. <laughs> if I wasn't sure on um, that other Mickey being a bit much, <laughs> just for scale, film me next. <laughs> I'm holding my wreath. I do actually want to buy a packet of Christmas cards. I can't see the price anywhere. Can you see the price on these cards anywhere? Oh look, they've got some nice Disney ones down there. Maybe the girls would like these to give out to their friends. I can't see the price. I like those. Here, these are the ones that I would probably buy. Where's the prices? And then of course, is it even Christmas if you haven't bought a giant roll of ribbon from Costco? Oh, I love it here. I bought a roll of paper from here about three years ago. It's still going. I don't even like it, but I'm using it now. Um, it's, they're good because they're thick and they are double-sided and they last forever. But pick a roll, the pattern that you like and will like for many years. I've got to go faster because Liam says he feels like he's never getting out of here. <laughs> Do you remember when we bought this for Pearl for Christmas when she was two? We bought her this, do you remember? Oh, She loved that. If you know, you know. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The best salad in the world is this broccoli salad. It is so delicious. You don't get much time on it though, so you have to eat it quite quickly. And I actually would not recommend getting any of their other fruit and veg. It all goes off so, so, so quick. So although it looks really appealing because it's like massive boxes of things, unless you're going to eat it like the second you get home, don't bother. Yum, 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 yum. We're all done and you know at the end of Costco they check 
your receipt. So. As you can see, I am home. Well, I don't know, this doesn't look like home, does it? This is my garage. I'm just about to put my giant Kirkland packet of toilet roll in the garage. And I wanted to say this before I go in the house, because once I go in the house, I'm like realigning my mind. I'm start like, I'm stepping out of where I am right now. Um, when I was coming out just then from Costco, I stopped vlogging really quickly because I saw someone that I remembered that was friends with my, um, the, with the, the person that abused me. And he was like, hey Louise, he recognised me. And I, at the time I thought, how can you recognise me? Because I, I haven't seen him since I was a kid and I look so different now. Uh, but later on he told me that he'd see me on TV and things. And, um, I said, oh hi, how are you? Like instantly go into like, you put your mask on and you're like, hey, how are you? But in my head, I'm like, <gasps> I'm thinking of all those times. I'm back there and back there. And I, he said, yeah. And I said, you were friends with, said her name, right? Because I was like, is this who I think it is? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, are you still friends with her? And he was like, yeah, yeah. And I think my face must have just like gone. Like instantly I felt like I was, I, I, I felt like I was instantly just, like Elsa when she puts up like her ice wall. Is it Elsa or Anna that does the ice wall? I always get those two mixed up. And um, I just thought, I can't, you're friends with her, you're friends with her, you are her, you're one of her. I keep having to, um, I know in the end I'll be cutting this a lot because I keep saying things that I don't share like her name and things. Um, he said, oh, is it still awkward? And I think he meant because of what happened between this person and my dad. Um, and that's not awkward for me because I wasn't a part of that. I said, do you know what she did to me? And he was like, no, I don't. I'm right there in the Costco car park. Like I, I've for years found it really hard even just to say the word abuse or abuser. Like I really have to force those words. And so right there in the Costco car park, I just told him, cause I don't want to cry, hang on. Oh, hello cat. That was perfect timing. <laughs> Cats know, don't they? Yeah, right there and then in the Costco car park, I just said what had happened to me and didn't give him like all the details. Like how can you give eight years of abuse in like a four minute conversation? But I said, um, I said, <laughs> I said, I have literal scars on my body for things that did I'm okay, I am zen, unagi, I am fine. I said, I have literal scars on my body from what that woman did to me. He just looked really shocked and sort of said, oh, you know, we're not close friends, I just see her every few years. And I get it, like, he probably, when I said, are you still friends, probably just said yeah to like, maybe be polite and this poor guy, and then I joked because I'm so awkward, I was like, oh, but you weren't expected to hear this in the Costco car park, huh? Because I'd like gotten upset and like almost cried. And he was, I can't now, I can't remember. He, he, he was just a bit like, I think he was stunned. Like now I'm overthinking thinking, oh my God, I've just seen someone from like 20 years ago and I've come probably come across as like a total weirdo that I've just like blurted all that out. Um, but he was like, you know, I didn't, I, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that that happened. And I don't know if he believed me or not. Um, I hope he did, but I don't know, like, would you, if you just bumped into someone and they were like, hey, how are you? And they were like, well, blah, here's all this horrific stuff. And I, I said, she, she did horrific things to me. I said, I've got scar physical scars on my body from her direct actions. I also said, I, I, I like shared some details, but not like, and then this one time and then this time and that time I just said like, she abused me, she was very violent, it was very physical. Um, she was also very physically violent to my cats. And that's really upset me thinking about my cats because she did horrible things to them. I laughed while they bled and made me watch and it was awful. And I wasn't crying as I was saying this. I think I was kind of in shock. And then we like wrapped it up nicely and I was like, anyway, sorry to just dump all that on you. I'll be two seconds. Sorry to just dump all that on you, <laughs> but I hope you're well and, you know, sorry you didn't know, etc, etc. Then he went off to do his Costco shop and I was like, wow, that was not the encounter 
I had anticipated with anyone today and then I walked to the car and I felt I thought it was okay and Liam said you all right and then suddenly I just wasn't all right like suddenly it's like I couldn't talk and I couldn't breathe and I just stood there like Liam was hugging me and I just stood there like didn't I was just like <laughs> Anyway, I didn't, this isn't what this vlog is for, but I think I want to say it because for years I've had to keep like a like a secret, like a really dirty secret, and it's not it's not my dirty secret, it's not my dirt. And so you know when people say like, don't wash your dirty laundry in public, not my dirty laundry, not my dirt, hers. And the more I say it it's almost like a little bit if it goes like I just get rid of it bit by bit and and although this seems bad like oh my god she's so upset two years ago or four years ago or six years ago I wouldn't have been able to even have this conversation with you in fact if I'd have bumped into her friend I mean I've bumped into friends of hers before and just smiled and just had like a very benign like yeah well thank you how are you oh great okay then all right bye and then walked away and just totally just like imploded so I'd rather like a little bit explode rather than like completely implode if that makes sense what I'm saying is this is positive and this is healing but healing doesn't always look that good does it anyway gotta unpack my Costco shopping now and do the school run so I've got no time to really dwell on all my childhood trauma because <laughs> mum life calls and I refuse to let this destroy my day um <sighs> okay once I go in the house I'm okay right I've had a polo I've had a big cry I have to go and get Pearl for dance packing her bag up um that really knocked me for six. I wasn't expecting it to... Oh, where's her top? I need to leave right now. I wasn't expecting that to, to affect me the way it did, but it did. Wow, I should have packed this bag sooner. I'm missing loads of things, so now I'm gonna have to run around the house and get all hot and bothered trying to find all her bits. Um, I'm so glad that I've got um, Dance Mum stuff tonight because I'll see some like really friendly faces, be spending time with Pearly, um, I'm taking my laptop and I'm gonna order a dress for the Pride of Britain Awards later this week. In fact, if this goes up on Sunday, today, um, you're gonna have to come with me whilst I start searching for bits and pieces. Is this a t-shirt? Is this Darcy's or is this Pearl's? It's Darcy's. Ah! <laughs> um, I tell you what, we'll talk in the car. Hello, hello, I found her t-shirt, her leggings, and her leotards, so that's all in the bag, I'm glad about that. He didn't want to come racing around the house with me whilst I tried to find those things. Oh, you've just stopped your lorry there, have you? Okie dokie. Um, yeah, Liam made a really good point. He said, nothing new has happened. Like, you haven't, she hasn't got you, she hasn't done anything, the, friend that we bumped into was really pleasant like he was a really nice guy I remember him being really nice I used to enjoy it when I was a kid when he came round because he like brought a really like happy nice fun energy um and he had that same like happy good energy um I think I just freaked out I just freaked out like I associated him with her and suddenly felt like I was faced with her um it's just not what you expect when you go to work in the morning. Name that sitcom. It's just not what you expect when you go to Costco. Just wanted to go and get my jumbo pack of pasta, not PTSD. It was just such a lot. And now, and I think I had a chemical reaction as well. Like, my body just released a whole ton of like adrenaline or cortisol or something not nice. And I just didn't really like that. Um, but as I was saying in the kitchen, I am um, gonna go and get Pearl now and Darcy is going for something else and Liam's gonna get her later and um, just have a really nice afternoon. And I've got nice things to do, like I am buying a dress and I've left it a bit late because I haven't got many days until this event, so hopefully that'll be okay. And um, I am also filling out some like character and location 
points for my new book which I'm excited about because it's in the really exciting like just imagination stage where you're just like literally just making it up <laughs> and I'm really enjoying it you can just be like does she have blonde hair or red hair mm, red you just make it up it's great so I'm enjoying that and I really like one of the dance mums she's called Sabina um, she is a new dance mum actually her daughter only just joined one second i never know if that's a junction where because it's a green light you can just go or if it's like a green light that's saying like go a bit and check <laughs> um yes yeah, sabina will be there hopefully so have a nice chat with her and dance has a cafe and i might get myself a cheesy jacket potato and like all is well with the world and as liam said nothing new has happened i just remembered the existing stuff so but no this isn't new trauma this is just stuff that i can cope with and i've always coped with so he's a, he speaks such sense he's such a good egg so glad i have him we're looking around wedding venues tomorrow and i am really looking forward to that because we haven't looked around any together yet um so this will be our first one and yeah it's just nice i finally feel in that stage Do you know what i really want I want bride merch now. Now I'm ready. I've been engaged since 2020. Well, 2020, and um, I haven't bought anything bridey. And now I'm like, yeah, I want a white sweatshirt that says bride. I want a notepad that says bride to be. I want stuff for the girls that says bridesmaid. When can I start having one of those handbags that says like Mrs. Like you know, you see them like the little beaded clutch bags. Are they just for your wedding day? Or can you just have those or your honeymoon i actually haven't had a honeymoon before because um last time i got married we didn't have one so that would be really nice it'd be really nice to have a first with liam that would be so special because we've both been married before um and i think that's been a big emotional hurdle for me to get over but i feel like i'm over that now i'm over i'm ready for like the wedding the wedding of my life <laughs> um hopefully hopefully this will be the last wedding I only really intended to have one but two max three would be three would be getting silly anyway this is getting silly now and I'm at a traffic light so I'm gonna stop my camera uh, uh, yeah, tree. tree but I can't live in a tree but I cannot live in a tree we're doing our reading before dance what's this one say Come yeah. in. Yes, it says come in. Dance is finished. It is pouring with rain. We just ran to the car in the rain. And so I've decided, even though it's only October, it is time. Got home and it's storming. Did you hear that? So Pearlie's just climbing into bed with me and I have bought her this book recently, uh, Funny Bones. I remember it from my childhood, you might remember it as well. This is how the story begins. On a dark, dark hill there was a dark, dark town. In the dark, dark town there were dark, dark... What do you give that book out of ten? Ten. Ten? Ten out of ten? That's very good. I love your Jimmy Jams, Pearl. They're very nice, very Halloween-y. Good morning everyone, it's Tuesday and I am not having a good hair day, like what's happening here? <laughs> My ear wings are out in full force, it's actually hair wash day so I'm going to the salon later, I don't know if you know, if you've been around a long long time you will know, I go to the salon every single week <laughs> to have a wash and blow, um, and I don't wash my hair here because I'm just terrible at it, it's a long story of how this started. Um, but when it's like washy, I have to put it up or do something a bit creative with it, and it's just not. It, this just it's just not looking how I want it to look. I want to look like one of those casual, messy bun girlies. You know those people where it just looks so perfect and big and volumized, and those are bits coming down in a really appealing way. No words. I know it's not important, but feels important in this moment. I 
don't know what to do. We just are where we are. And I can't waste any more time of the vlog on this. Good morning. I'm not thrilled with it, but this is as good as it's gonna get. But I wanna show you the back. I'm just, I'm not sure about the back there. But the back of my hair is none of my business. That's what I heard someone say on TikTok this morning. So, oh, lovely lighting. The back of my hair, here she is, is none of my business. This is fine for now. I might change it before we go to view a potential wedding venue. I don't even know what to like to, well, I do know what to wear. I'm gonna wear this. Um, but I was, as I was putting it on, I was like, hmm, what does this say about me? I'm wondering, I was wondering like, will they be judging me? Will they be like, not judging, but like assessing me? Like, oh, she's wearing that, so she's that kind of person. Or what bag should I take? And oh, I got, I really like started overthinking it. But I've got to jump on this call. And then I don't really have a lot of time after, which is probably, for the best because my little brain always overthinking this is my little setup for my video call and i'm looking at myself in the little mirror i'm looking at myself on the like video call thing i've overdone it i put a little bit of tan on my face this morning to give myself a healthy glow but i've overdone it so i had my call oh these gates open automatically oh i had my call it was so good i'm so excited it was with amazon and they've got so many new features coming that make it feel a lot more like social media-y um but now i'm getting distracted because we are pulling up to a potential wedding venue aren't we yes um looks nice like the drive up so far so good first impressions are positive is this i feel like we're up more on a farm though I mean, I like the farm vibes. Anyway, we're gonna go and look round now and I'll let you know our thoughts when we're done. We've just got home and I want to tell you our thoughts um, on the wedding venue, but look, look, look. Milky, he's actually in the trampoline. Milky. Milky, what are you doing? Why are you so precious? Oh yeah, that's it, use the ladder. You silly sausage, you silly sausage. Oh my God, I can't bear it, it's so gorgeous. Right, I'm gonna pop you up on this makeshift tripod. I am cutting up some cucumber. I thought I would chop and chat at the same time. So we've had a really good chat about that venue. Um, and the reason I haven't shown you any footage or any pictures is because we're not gonna go with it. And I felt really conscious that I don't want to like give anybody any like bad press or negativity and I'm also aware that like what might be a real massive like turn off for us might for some brides who are watching this and got married there had their wedding there that might have been like something really special and like sentimental to them but it wasn't for us I don't feel like we could have the style of wedding that we want there because we don't want something traditional because we've already kind of had that experience so yeah, I'm not sure it would be right for us. Um, also, one of the suppliers that they use for a lot of the stuff there is my friend's ex-husband. And that made me feel a bit like, oh, no thanks. And although we wouldn't have to use them, um, there were some elements that they exclusively supply to that venue that's like non-negotiable. So I was like, huh. Uh, not non-negotiable but like if you want that certain thing you have to use theirs or you can't have that certain thing at all so i was like oh not sure um i thought the outside of the venue was stunning and the photos would have been amazing because we're hoping to have something in the warmer season so i was like yeah that would have been like so lovely as soon as we arrived i was like yes yeah, gorgeous um and they did have some really nice facilities that would have been lovely to use the next day like if we stayed over um, but yeah, I just don't think there were some things that just were like deal breakers for us. I just thought, no, I'll, I'll be, I just don't want that or that, or this is either they had something I didn't like or they were missing something that I really wanted. So yeah, it was good to go because now that's the first venue we've looked around together. So like, it was good to have that conversation, like know what our bar is now, I guess. Um, a lovely, lovely location as well, like beautiful countryside. Um, but yeah, exciting to 
start this like project i'm thinking of it as like we're doing a project together project wedding <gasps> weddings here we are very exciting right i'm going to have some lunch I'm going to have some risotto from my hello fresh box not an ad but i am working with them just to put my code below in case you want to use the code it's a juicy one i feel like people that watch these you're the type that likes a good code and i'm adding some cucumber right salon time i'm gonna get my hair all freshened up back to normal feeling so nice just gotten home and i can hear someone meowing are you under the car where are you come on where are you Beepie. <gasps> hello hello baby what a welcome from my big boy are you my big boy yeah you're gonna roll over you do little roly roly. What's the matter? Oh, what's the matter? Gorgeous boy. Come on, then. you want to go inside? Come on, then. Hello, hello. It's a little bit later on now, and the girls are back from school. In fact, they've been back a while. They've had their dinner. Liam has taken um, Darcy to dance, and I am about to run a bath for. My little pearly girly. I really like, these aren't Liam's boxes by the way, they, these are his swim shorts, I wouldn't include his boxes online. I really love this time of night when it's like um, just the sun is setting and it starts to get all like really cosy and lovely. I realise you can't see me properly, I've propped you up on a toilet roll. <laughs> the glamorous places you go, a little rinsey rinse and then I don't use bubble bath for pearly girly. I just put a tiny bit of her shampoo in. They have the L'Oreal Kids shampoo. They have this shampoo. Hang on, let me just grab the conditioner in the shower because between Darcy and Pearl, they move them around. Darcy has showers, Pearl has baths. So I use these for them. Um, and I just put like a tiny bit of the shampoo in, not too much because Pearly has quite sensitive skin. So. I just put like a little dollop like that and then I'll set that to get running. Et voila and Pearly really likes my little Amazon find lights. When you put them in water they light up. She absolutely loves these. So I put some of those in. A little fluffy. Does that one work? One of them doesn't work anymore. Oh no, they all work. I don't think she wants a spots and blemish do that shove that up there also i just removed my razor because i don't want her to like reach for it or anything and then hurt herself and then i just push this up a little bit it's one of these like extendable ones this is from amazon as well actually do you know what i've had this a few years and i don't know that it's like the most glam like i've seen those ones sorry this is so loud i've seen those ones that are like wooden and you can put a wine glass and your ipad and stuff in first of all who is brave enough to put their ipad over water or kindle or whatever i'm certainly not um yeah i know it's not like super glam but i feel like it does what i want it to do it goes with the like silver um and i just like it it did have little things for wine um i don't really drink wine in the bath so i didn't bother and then i'll grab some of Pearly's toys which i keep in this like very instagram aesthetic box here like oh la la she's such a lifestyle influencer <laughs> i'll just grab some of the things that i know she likes to play with what have we got in here we've got some lol doll heads because she pulls the heads off them sometimes <laughs> and then these are from when she was a baby and they're so good they're from stocke and they're just things with holes in like toys basically that's just an ikea cup <laughs> uh, and that's one of the stocky ones honestly the glamour oh look and we've got some sequins as well don't know where they've come from jolly good the glamour around here never ends don't be too inspired by us will you guys let me out and then whilst the bath is running i'm just going to get the room all cozy and sorted and then a little dressing gown this is so cute with ears on it is actually darcy's from a long time ago but it fits pearl now she doesn't mind so that's all sorted and also we need to grab a towel oh i've got all warm towels in the airing cupboard i wish somebody would take the time to like 
do me baths like that. Am I going to show you my airing cupboard? I feel like there's going to be two types of people with this next clip. People that judge and people that relate. Are you a judger or are you a relater? Um, I know where everything is. The towel I'm going to use is just here. Lovely soft pink one. And then we'll just shut this door and pretend that you never saw any of that. Goodbye, goodbye. Are you ready for a lovely bath? Yes, I am. Yes, I've got all of your toys in there. Yes. I was going to stroke your hair then, you moved. Look how long Pearly's lovely hair is getting. One hot chocolate with some uh, a marshmallow. Mm. So I can have a coffee, an ice cream or a hot chocolate? Yeah. Mm. What would you recommend? What's the tastiest? A hot chocolate. Oh, I'll have a hot chocolate then, please. Okay. Oh yeah, I'd love marshmallows, yes please. Oh, I popped some in the candle. Look on, look, look at the candle. Look on the side. Oh, you found some. How much is the hot chocolate? Do I have to pay for it or is it free? I'm going to have to pay for it. It's only one pound. Just one pound? Okay, thank you. It's my hot chop. Look, you can see my little marshmallows in there. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Really chocolatey. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm being treated now because this is my cheeseburger with extra cheese. Oh, there it is. And then over here, I've got a lovely drink. Haven't I? This is my Diet Coke. Yeah. Gosh, I am being treated at this cafe today. Yum. So Pearl's giving me a credit card to pay with and we've got a cash reader now. Beep. Has that gone through? Yes. Oh, good. Yep, yeah, all gone through. Lovely. Yes. Can I have a receipt, please? Uh, yes. You Just put my credit card down here with my cheeseburger. What can I have as my receipt? Yeah. I'm going to do my pose. Your poses, yeah. Which one are you going to do? I'm going to do a tree pose. Yeah, tree pose. Put my hands to my heart like this and then put my branches up. Maybe put some branches up. That is so nice. And then somebody tries to blow me over. No, no luck. Maybe I should try on the other foot. Yeah, okay. Mm. So people normal, more, normally brush your hair whilst you do your yoga poses? No, but Is you can try blowing me over now. Whee! Oh. That was a strong pose. No, you are not having... My pumpkins. Oh, the cat. I'm Rainbow, aren't I? Yeah. Dance party. Dance party. What have you found there, Pearly? Chocolate box. I bought this in Costco and the girls have been desperate to have one, aren't you? Right. <laughs> How excited are you for this? This is the kind of thing that I would have been absolutely thrilled to see as a kid. I would have lost my mind. I would have been so excited. Whoa. What are you going to pick? I'm going to pick this. Oh, cool. Not two, not two, just I one. I realise Yeah, do you want some milk as well? Yes, please. Yeah, so we've got mm. time out fingers. I'm going to save this I'm going to save this for when we're watching something. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to have this. We were going to do these, but we ran out of time. But I just want to give them a shout out because the icing in it is really easy to use. You get 10 biscuits, so we've done five. Um, and sometimes when you buy these kits, they can't use these icing things because it's so stiff and it doesn't come out. But the icing comes out really well with these, so big shout out. Although I will say, you don't get anything apart from the icing and the gingerbread man. Um, but if you've got sprinkles at home and sweets and stuff, they can add good little kit, although no time for that tonight, but just a shout out for that. Jim jams on, hairs up, earrings out, fairy lights on. We've got a film on, name that film. And Pearly and I are gonna have some film time, aren't we? Yeah. And a goodie bowl with those Oreos. How cozy are you right now, Pearly Pops? Very cozy. Very cozy. Oh my goodness, why it's so adorable. She's home. How was it? It was good, thank you. Did you find out your role that you auditioned for? No, not not yet. Liam's clicking the cat down. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. No, but um, I think like Wendy and Peter, but I wasn't really going for Wendy or Peter. I was going for like 
Not a How small course, arm, Like a lost boy. Or Tim Bell, something like that. Mmm. Yeah. Fingers crossed for next week then. Right, it's 11 o'clock. The girls are obviously in bed and I'm about to do a plank because I've been trying to do a plank a night. Liam, you're very fit and you do loads of like all your exercises, but now I'm just... I'm Copying. A... Yeah. Yeah, good. In a healthy way. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say I'm a planking expert <laughs> or even good at the worst of planking, but I can get on the floor and lift up a bit for very short amounts of time. I would say I'll vlog it, but I feel like you don't deserve to have to see that. It's not a pretty sight. It's a lot of bum in the air. It's, it's, it's not for the You're doing it. You're giving it a go. Yeah, I am. All right, I will leave this vlog here. If there's anything I've forgotten, I'll write it below and I will put the links in the description box this time. I always say, I'll link it below and then I never do link it, but I really will link it. I'm also going to link my Amazon storefront because I've just spent ages doing that and I've got really sucked into it. It's like social media, but for shopping, I love it. So I'll link that for you. Um, but yes, I think that is it. Hope you've enjoyed just a little mini vlog of coziness. Oh, you've got the stretch bands out. What am I going to do with those? Right, I will see you in the next vlog. I am going to get up and plank myself senseless. Thanks for watching. Bye!